hey y'all and welcome back to my channel if you're new here this channel is all about me learning how to do my own natural hair as well as my journey to growing my hair to the middle of my back as well as me vlogging my life so if you're into that go ahead and subscribe to my channel for all my oldies welcome back you know i appreciate you all so before we get right into this video i just want to say before we start I usually don't do my high puff routine on stretched out hair. I usually do it right out the shower when my hair is like really wet. But this particular day I woke up after already having my hair in plaits and I was like, well, you know what? I just want to go ahead and record this video. And plus, I never seen anyone do a high curly puff on stretched out hair before. So we're going to go ahead and give it a try. I'm going to take my stream gel and I'm just going to put it around the edges. Now use whatever gel works for you. I use a stream gel. I really, really do like it. It's the only gel I really use. I used to use Echo, but Echo flake up in my opinion. I stopped using that a long time ago. Once you get it around your edges, take your brush and just brush it. Don't forget that back. We're gonna take our scrunchie. Make sure you have a scrunchie that don't have all those, um, what is the, the metal little clips going around it. That's to pull your hair out. I really can't remember, but I'm pretty sure you can buy them off Amazon. Just go to the hair store and get them anywhere. Just a bit scrunchy as long as they don't have those silver little things on it. Now, you want a scrunchie big enough to fit around your whole head. So, I'm going to take this scrunchie, put my hair all the way through, let it go, and push it up. Push the scrunchie up, just like that. Now you have like a, a ponytail. If it's not tight enough, you can double wrap it. Sometimes I don't like to double wrap because they put a lot of tension on your hair. I just like that one wrap. And I don't think mine's long, big enough to do a double one because I never really double mine. I used to a long time ago. See, mine's not big enough to double it, but you would just turn it like this and stretch it over your head and double it. If you don't have a scrunchie, I kind of um, made this. So this is like a regular headband. You can take a headband. This is just another option if you don't have a bit scrunchy. I cut this one and you can just tie it. You can tie it in a knot and use it that way as a hair bow. But if you want to, you can turn it around like that. And then if it's loose, you can just pull it. Pull it to your liking and then just tie it in a bow that way. I'm trying to get it on here to show y'all. Tie it in a knot. And you can hide that scrunchie as well if you don't if you need a bigger hair bow well you can hide it as you do your hair but that's another option i'm not going to use this i'm going to go ahead and put this back on i'm not going to drench my hair but i am going to spray it with water i'm going ahead and spray my whole puff lightly with water i usually take like a piece about this big i go ahead and spray it with my water one more time and then I take my extreme gel because my hair is already moisturized. So I really don't have to add another product with it because sometimes products don't mix well. So I haven't found some moisturizing milk that didn't com combine well with the extreme gel. I don't know if y'all know, but sometimes when you um, mix a gel with um, some curling cream, it makes your hair flaky. I take this and I add that extreme gel and I just rub my fingers through like this. And when you rub your fingers through, you're gonna get like a really pretty curl like that. I take the one curl and I just, basically just do like a little swirly around my finger and give it an extra little definition like that, like that. And you're just gonna do your whole head like that. That's why I said it's time consuming. But you don't want to drench it because the, the wetter your hair, I think the more shrinkage you get. So I don't drench it. I just get it damp enough to where it will curl. I'm going to do it one more time and then we're going to speed this video up. Take a piece, spray your water, add your stream gel. Finger detangle. Your hair going to get curly. Take it and then just do like a little swirly swirl. Like that. Look at that. Y'all see the curls? That's what it's looking like, and I'm going to do that around my whole entire head. Now my hair is like really curly. <laughs> Y'all know I got to pipe my hair. Y'all know I got to pipe my hair. But look, let me just look at one real quick.
I just like shaking my hair. The reason why I shake my hair is because I couldn't do this before. Now we just wait for it to dry at this point. I'll come back after it dry, y'all. Y'all, so I'm back. So now my hair has dried. This is how it looks once it dries. As y'all can see, it's really curly. I do have like a few little damp pieces over here, but we're not going to worry about that. But as y'all can see, my outfit changed and everything because I'm getting ready to go do something with Bay, a little date night or whatever. I don't know because the key is trying to come too. We a sequel. You about to get it too. But enough of that. Now I'm just going to take my scrunchie off. I'm going to use the shine and jam. Put this back on. Now this time I will push it up how I want it. They looking like dreads. I'm going to take some oil on my hands and I'm going to just start untwisting some of them. I'm not going to untwist a lot of them because I don't want it to be frizzy. I got some oil in my hand and I just untwist. When you untwist, make sure you untwist. The, the twist will tell you like how you should, where you should separate that. Like follow the separation. Like this one, if y'all can see, like it's telling me to separate right there. Like I'm not going to try to separate where it's not telling me to separate. If that makes sense. Like this one. If I slightly pull, it's telling me to separate right there. See that? I ain't going to lie. I really don't do too much separation on the first day because day two, day three, I'm going to have a whole big fro. It's going to get bigger and bigger. I'm cool with it looking like this the first day. To me, this is cute. Because the more you untwist it, the frizzier your hair gets. I ain't going to lie. I'm kind of rushing. I'm about to use this edge booster and my edge brush. I have not thought about where I want to go to eat. I'm trying to think we still should go. I don't know. But if they do that, then we can drop them back off and go on our real date. See, it's too many opinions. When everybody trying to figure out what we want to do for the day. They waiting on me. No, I know I'm still bad at edges. But they giving something. And then you just play with it to your liking. That's good enough for me. That's my high puff, everybody. So that's up to you if you want to sit there and pick it higher. Me, I'm not. But thanks for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you in the what? Next video. Goodbye.